Hey booktube, here is day 14 of my advent unwrapping. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm Jen, I talk about audiobooks, but not today. Today I am unwrapping day 14 of my advent unwrapping. Got a book from Jenny, which is full of cake. Well, the wrapping paper is all cake. And Karen's is her standard um, reindeer, and it says signed. Ooh, this feels like a mass market paperback, but it also feels like a box. So I don't know. I think I'll open it first, because why not? How does she, she wraps these things so I can't even figure them out. Yeah, it is mass market paperback. Okay. Gosh, now all the tape is sticking to me. Okay, this is... The Darwin Elevator by Jason M. Howe. Hmm. Wow. I don't know anything about this. It just says a brilliant debut, full of compelling characters and thick with tension. And Kevin Hearn said that, and you know, he wrote that really hilarious series. It says, Jen, enjoy the code. Cool. She knows I love signed books. Okay, here's what it says. In the late 23rd century, Darwin, Australia. I also love Australia. It stands, or Darwin stands as the last human city on Earth. The world has succumbed to an alien plague with most of the population transformed into mindless, savage creatures. <laughs> zombies, I love it. Alien zombies. This uh, the planet's refugees flock to Darwin, where a space elevator created by the architects of this apocalypse, the builders, emits a plague-suppressing aura. Hmm. Well, that sounds really, really good. I love this kind of stuff. I love post-apocalyptic, you know, the world's been destroyed, now how are we going to survive? I love that kind of stuff. And this is The Dire Earth Cycle. And this one's the Darwin Elevator. Now that makes sense. And then Exodus Towers and Plague Force are two more. I don't know if there's going to be more, but mm, got to find out if it's on audio because I'm kind of in the mood for this sort of thing. And Jenny's book. Um, well, before I start, before I move on, Karen, you know I love you. Thank you. Uh December 14th, I hate presents. Said no one ever. <laughs> I love these little tags she puts on these books. There's the card. Got to open the book first because, ooh, it's a hardback. Because she always tells me what the book is. The Girl of Midnight by Melissa Gray. Ooh, I think I've seen this before. Oh, man. Magic lives in our darkest corners. How, talk about a gorgeous cover. Man, look how pretty that is. Wow. I'm pretty sure this is YA fantasy. So let's, oh, I love it when she throws stuff like that in there. You have me until every last star in the galaxy dies. You have me. That's so cool. Illumin. Oh, that's from Illumine. Oh, that's a very romantic thing to say. Okay. Beneath the streets of New York City live the Avison. An ancient race of people with feathers for hair and magic running through their veins. Age-old enchantments keep them hidden from humans. All but one. Echo is a runaway pickpocket who survives by selling stolen treasures on the black market. And the Avison are the only family she's ever known. Okay, so it goes on from there. And apparently she has a job. And some jobs aren't as straightforward as they seem, and this one might just set the world on fire. Woo! I wonder if this is part of a series. I bet it is. Now I gotta know who it's who uh, narrates it on audio. Hopefully it's on audio. Well, I guess I'll find out. And the card, the card, the card. Ooh, it's pretty. It has a fairy today. It says, the girl at midnight. Oh, a girl at midnight. No, the girl at midnight. The Girl at Midnight, this book really reminds me of Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Um, a really interesting read. I don't know if she's read this. She doesn't really say A. Okay. Daughter of Smoke and Bone. Really interesting read. 
Well, that's going right in there. And you know, I was just on Kindle Unlimited looking for something to read. So this just might be the ticket. I don't know. I was I was thinking about the Sarah Addison Allen book from last night and it takes place in the fall and I was really in the mood for something Christmassy. But if I'm not going to do Christmas, let's just go all out and do something completely, completely different. Either of these would fit the bill. So The Darwin Elevator by Jason M. Howe. I think that's how you say his name. And The Girl at Midnight by Melissa Gray. Mm, if you've read either of these, let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts. And that's it for now for me. So I will see you tomorrow with day 15 of the Advent Unwrapping. Man, tomorrow it's 10 days till Christmas. Gosh, I gotta get all this stuff wrapped. <laughs> Thanks for watching. God is sending us a say. Guess what? We're off to see Star Wars!